has an ombudsman office that is appointed by council. There is no current ombudsman in the city of Flint and has not been one for a number of years for various reasons, including decisions under the emergency manager. The commissioners feel that the lack of an ombudsman potentially contributed to the lack of an identification of water problems. Additionally, the commissioners found a lack of enforcement of numerous charter provisions and ethics standards within city government. The board will consist of one member appointed by each council member from their ward and two members appointed by the mayor. The board will appoint a bondsman who will investigate complaints, enforce the charter, conduct performance audits of city operations, and enforce ethics and root out misconduct. The board will all issue the reports of the bondsman and insulate the bonds person from political pressure that may exist in investigating complaints and enforcing the charter. The Human Relations Commission will exist under the Ethics and Accountability Board and will work in concert with the above person to reduce discrimination, assist the public, and foster good relations in the community outside of city operation. We have established a minimal funding level for the above from the already existing general property tax levy. We have found that there is some confusion as to the nature of the council's role in the city government. The charter has currently spread roles and duties through the charter, and it can be difficult for the average citizens to know the responsibilities of council. The commissioners have inserted language at the beginning of the article of the legislative branch that explains the basic duties of council members. This makes it easier for the council members, citizens, and potential future council members to understand the role of the office. <music> Residents have expressed concerns in the community meeting about behavior of council members. Concerns include the council's ability to treat members of the public and each other with respect and council's knowledge of governmental practice. The new charter sets behavior expectations of council members, requires city council to write rules of procedures, and provides for the ability of council to enforce its own rules. The city council is the legislative body of the city and is responsible for passing the laws that governs the city. However, the council does not currently have the ability to monitor the implementations of laws on the part of the executive other than to subpoena appointees and employees, which could easily be perceived as combative and increased tension between the branches of government. The commissioners have created language that allows for city council to receive reports from department heads on a quarterly basis and to ask questions of department heads at that time. The clerk appointed by the council and serving at its will chairs the election commissions, which both conducts elections and manage the reapportionments of wards at the decennial census. This gives the council significant influence over both of these functions. We have created a term of five years for the office of clerk with the ability for a clerk to be reappointed when each term expires. This allows for some level of independence in the office of clerk, particularly when conducting the reappointment of council wards. After each census, it retains the council's ability to appoint the clerk and does not put a limit on the number of terms in the office. We thank you very much for your support and interest in the Charter and hope that you'll take the time to share with us your thoughts, opinions.
We thank you very much for your support and interest in the Charter and hope that you'll take the time to share with us your thoughts, opinions, and concerns.